Welcome to our review of the Pioneer DJ HDJ Q1 headphones. This is a new model and it comes in at the very bottom of Pioneer DJ's range, coming in at about £59, $69, €69. Euros. Now, don't panic, they don't come with these pink, these pink ear cups. They come with the standard black versions and the standard black lead. We'll get to why I've pimped them up in a little while. But these are a beginner DJ headphone. They're at a price point which makes sense if you're using cheaper Pioneer gear, such as the DDJ 400 here or the DDJ 200, where really to spend as much money as you're spending on your device, on your headphones, doesn't make sense at all. So when I unboxed these, I was kind of fearing the worst because there are some pretty bad cheap headphones out there. And I've got to tell you right off the bat, these are excellent. They're, for the money, a really great headphone. So let's dive a little bit deeper into uh, what they've got, what they haven't got, what the difference is with these and maybe more expensive headphones, and then you can decide if these are for you. So they are a DJ headphone. They're designed for DJs. They're not designed for listening to for hours on end, sat on your sofa. They are, they clamp onto your ears pretty hard. And there's a good reason for that because they need to isolate you from the outside world in order that you can hear what's going on in the headphones. Because the main reason that DJs use headphones is to cue the next track that they're gonna play before the audience hears it. So therefore, you're gonna to wanna to put them on like this to listen to the track, get into it, decide if you even wanna play it next. At the same time, blanking out the outside world, right? So you can be in your little world. You're gonna to wanna to wear them like this so that you can listen to the monitor speaker and also have the headphone on so that you can get your beat mixing right so everything works properly. You're gonna want them like this so that you can chat and have fun and just be in the moment with everyone and not be locked out with your headphones. If you're Pete Tong, you're gonna to want them like that. Uh, you're gonna want them like that. You're gonna want them like this. There's all kinds of ways that DJ headphones get worn. And so they've got a few things which are designed to make that easy for you. They twist like this. So it's a lot more comfortable having your headphones like that than like that, for instance. And it's much easier to just pull one up onto an ear when you've got this twist in them. They also twist like this, but that's more for transport purposes, so you can fold them up to carry them around. They also have pivoting here. Now I have to say that these don't pivot as much as some headphones do here, so if you're the kind of DJ that enjoys that pivoting in the way that you happen to wear them on your head or around your neck, just be aware that this is not as is not 90 degrees like this is. Uh, so they've got the kind of the give and the pivoting in them, they've got a strong band because these are going to get abused and so on. They've got solid metal adjusters here so that you can get them right on your head and you don't have to pussy around too much with them. They're going to stand what you throw at them. Well, that said, these are a new headphones, so we haven't tested them for years or anything. Where headphones always break is here, is on this join here. You know, anyone who's ever owned uh, pairs of Sony 700s will know that, you know, this is the part of the design that always seems to be weak in headphones. So I can't tell you yet how they're going to hold up as far as the, the, the swivels go, where the ear cups meet the headband. All I can tell you is they, they feel really, really good out of the box. The padding on the top is okay. It's not as good as some headphones, not as substantial as other Pioneer headphones, for instance, but it's okay. And the overall feel is just like a cracking standard DJ headphone. You've got a detachable cable, which is coiled. Coiled is good because it means you can stand near the decks without it getting around your feet, but you can walk away from the decks uh, to do something at the back of the booth or whatever and not find the cable is too short. Uh, and of course, a detachable element means that you can replace the cable should you need to. Talking of replacing them, so you might have noticed I have here some blue ear pads and a blue cable. And if you are more traditional, you'll be pleased to know they actually come with the black cable and the black pads. So the headphones themselves are £59, $69, €69, Euros, and for an extra £27 or $30 or Euros, you can pimp them up with your choice of pack. Uh, and the reason I've got these is quite clearly because it totally matches the headphones on our book. Uh, and I've always wanted to have some headphones to match the ones on our book. So I can now do it. And in fact, I've had all kinds of weird and wonderful combinations, like the odd sock, one blue, one pink. I was advised against that by just about everyone. So uh, I've been pimping them up here. And look, that's, in all seriousness, that is a fun part of these headphones. Because if you've got a brand, as we have, it's nice to have headphones that match your brand. If you've got, you're an Instagrammer and you've got color-coded 
whatever. It's nice to have headphones that match what's color coded. If you're a wedding DJ and the wedding's got a color, how nice to be able to match your headphones to the color going on in the wedding. It's just a nice addition, I think, to it. But don't worry, they don't come with, uh, with anything other than black. In fact, these come in this kind of color that you can see here is the only color for these headphones. And you can get them in black, white, and I think red on the Bluetooth variation, because there is a Bluetooth variation. I think they're about 89. Uh, for the Bluetooth one, so a little bit more. So if you want an all-round headphone that you can wear as a Bluetooth headphone with your phone and you can then DJ with and plug in, they're going to be all right for that, uh, wait for that one. That's not out yet, actually. It should be out very soon at the time of recording this. So should you go for them? Well, look, if you're a beginner and you're a Pioneer DJ uh, lover, you've got Pioneer gear, and you don't want to spend upwards of 100 on headphones, go for them. Uh, as far as I can see, they're going to last long. They sound great. They've got the same drivers as Pioneer's HDJ X5 headphones, which are the next one up in the range. So they sound good. They isolate well, so you don't have to have them too loud when you're DJing. You don't want your headphones up really, really loud when you're DJing. You'll hurt your ears. So the fact that you know my voice is very, very muffled now means that they isolate well, which they do, uh, which is good. They are not quite over-ear headphones. Over-ear headphones surround the whole ear. On-ear headphones sit on the ear, like the smaller III headphones or the Sennheiser HD25. These are kind of halfway between the two. But actually, I really like them. It means they're, they're a bit more compact than some, they're a bit lighter than some, and they do the job fine. So yeah, they're kind of halfway between the two. I think their biggest competition, funnily enough, is the HDJ X5s, Pioneer's next model up in the range because the HDJ X5s have come down massively in price and you can get them for about 89 UK pounds, about $99 nowadays. So for, look, for 30 more, you could get the next one up in the range to this, which has got, I have got some somewhere, here they are. These are the HDJ X5s. So these have got, they've got more of that pivot there. You know, I was saying to you, some DJs like to DJ like this. So this ear can work. This ear's got the monitoring going on on it. And they can just flip that around if they want to listen to the whole thing. If that's you, and as I say, there's all kinds of ways DJs wear headphones. If that's you, these ones are not going to work for you because they haven't got, they won't turn like that. So these are slightly bigger, slightly heavier, slightly better padding, uh, but apparently the same drivers in them. So a bit more durable, but apart from that, the difference is actually quite small. And for some people, having a pair of headphones which is smaller and which is easier to pack might actually be a little bit better. The other difference is, uh, I seem to recall these came with a carry case. I'm not sure that it would have just been a flimsy little fabric case. These don't. These come with no case at all, just the box that they come in. And they also don't come with a converter to convert this, or rather this, into quarter inch. So the little converter that you plug in to make that fit a quarter inch socket doesn't come with these. Now that's not really an issue nowadays, obviously, if your phone is lucky enough to still have a headphone socket on it, it's not going to be the big one. Uh, and all DJ mixers and all DJ gear that's been made recently has a choice of quarter and eighth, eighth inch, or indeed just eighth inch for plugging in. So it probably isn't going to be an issue, but you know, a couple of dollars, dollars on uh, Amazon will get you a adapter if you really want one for that. But other than that, I can highly recommend these on uh, first use. I would be very happy to use them. In fact, I am using them in our tutorials and in our school at the moment. I love the fact that I've pimped them up to match the color of our How To DJ book. Uh, it's just a cool little addition uh, and they're great value. So for 59 pounds, 69 euros, 69 dollars and an extra 30 or so if you do want to pimp them up. The Pioneer HDJ Q1s are a great headphone. We can thoroughly recommend them. Now let us know what you think of these headphones in the comments underneath. What headphones do you use? Do you go for something as cheap as this or should you spend a bit more? Or are headphones just disposable? They keep breaking anyway, so why spend more than the minimum you have to spend on your headphones? Let us know in the comments underneath. If you've enjoyed this video, do please share, follow, subscribe, and I'll see you again back here for another review very soon. Meanwhile, get good, get out there, and make the moments.